Welcome to the 186th District Court. Court is in session. This is cause number 2021 CR5952W, State of Texas versus Gilbert Salazar Jr. We're here today for a plea. We're conducting this hearing by a video conference using the Zoom application. We're also using YouTube to live stream the proceedings to keep the hearing public. The time now is 1.16 p.m. on the first day of July 2021. These proceedings are official. They're on the record and being recorded by the official court reporter. No, 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 Counsel no. and all present are instructed to act as though you were in court and all are instructed not to record the proceedings. And if I could have the attorneys make appearances, starting with the state of Texas, please. Austin, stop. Will Brooks for Mr. Salazar. Sir, are you the same? Gilbert Salazar Jr. charged by information <laughs> harassment of a public servant. Is that you, sir? Yes, sir. I'm going to use a function of Zoom. It's called share screen. I'm going to show you. Well, let's see. That's not it. Let's try that again. I'm going to go over some documents. First, I have the discovery acknowledgments. Sign and day by both sides. I'm doing the same. I'm making a part of the record. And then uh, you should see on your screen now, sir, a document called the Defendant's Consent to Plea by Video Conference. Are you familiar with this document? Yes, sir. Did you go over this with Mr. Brooks? Yes, Your Honor. Do you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. With an electronic signature, I'm using my cursor to circle around. Is this yours? Yes, Your Honor. By signing this, you're telling me two things. One, you understand normally we do pleas live in an open court, but that you are consenting to do this plea by video conference. Did you understand that when you signed this? Yes, John. Secondly, your electronic signature, as well as all the other electronic signatures of yours in the plea packet before me today, you're telling me that those are valid as if you personally signed the documents. Did you understand that when you signed this? Yes, John. Yes. I approve the consent and I make it a part of the record. Oh, your it's, it's, it's part of half. Majority y'all at 290. Like at least 60 y'all at 290. So, so just be patient. Is that all right? Like 60 y'all at 290. 60 y'all. All right. We're still in uh, share screen. And I'm now showing you a document called the information. Are you familiar with this document, sir? Yes, sir. Did you go over this with your attorney? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. I'm going to scroll through down to another document. It's entitled Waiver of Indictment, Waiver of Reading the Information, and it's waiver of, or Waiver of Certain Time Delays. Are you familiar with this document? Yes, Your Honor. Did you go over this with Mr. Brooks? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. There's an electronic yes, signature near the middle of the page. Is this yours? Yes, Your Honor. When you sign this, you're telling me you understand that normally this type of offense has to go to the grand jury for an indictment, but you want to waive that proceeding. Is that true? Yes, Your Honor. And now that the information has been filed instead of the indictment, we could read the information out loud to you here word for word, but you're telling me you want to waive that process as well. Is that true? Yes, Your Honor. And now that the information has been filed, you have two time delays under the law, once for two days, once for 10 days. But you're telling me with your signature here that you would rather proceed today and waive those delays. Is that true? Yes, Your Honor. I approve those waivers. I make them a part of the record. Sir, I've scrolled down to another document called the Court's Admonishments. It's several pages long. So I'll scroll through for you. Are you familiar with this document? Yes, Your Honor. Did you go over this with your attorney? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand yes. it? Right here. Come on. Yes, come on Your Honor. Right here. So it was old school and right there, the red chair. Were you? How long you were here? Um, All right. I've scrolled down to the bottom of page three is your electronic signature. Is this yours? Yes, Your Honor. I'm going to get out of share screen. By signing the court's admonishments, you are telling me that you understand the court's mm -hmm. admonishments and that you understand the rights are contained within it. Is that true? Yes, yes Your Honor. And that you want to give yes, up those Honor. rights. Is that true? Yes, Your Honor. And the rights that you're giving up is you have the right to a trial by jury. You have a right to confront the witnesses against you. You also have the right to remain silent, yes, which includes the right not to incriminate yourself and not plead today. Yes, Did you understand that when you signed this? Yes, Your Honor. By signing this, you're also telling me you understand the consequences of a plea in the sentencing range for the offense, which is anywhere from 180 days, or rather, let me check that. It's a third degree, Judge. Yeah, so 180 days to, uh, rather, I should say, 
if it's a third degree, it's two years, two to 10 years in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand that when you signed this? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Judge. I do not have, I still have not been given any uh, evidence pertaining to my bond. I'm still waiting for that. And yeah. then, so I believe, well, let me say I approve. Well, before I do one, that, I forgot to add that there's an application for deferred adjudication or community supervision. Uh, we'll make that a part of the record. All right, it's getting loud again back there. Let's see what we can do. Just let me know, Miss Garcia, if you can't hear. All right, you've applied for deferred adjudication. You've applied for deferred adjudication and there are risks and benefits associated with that. Benefits are as if it's granted, then you will not be found guilty of the offense and instead you'll be placed on community supervision, which if you're successful at that, the case is dismissed. The risks are if you're not successful, it could be revoked. And if you are revoked, then you would be found guilty of the offense on that day and you're subject to the full sentencing range I just announced. Did you understand that before you applied for deferred adjudication? Yes, Your Honor. And do you still wish to apply? Lawyer? Yes. Do you, do you, you still wish to apply yes. for deferred adjudication? I, okay. I approve the waivers that are contained within the court's admonishment. I make them a part of the record. We're going to go back to share screen again, sir, and I'm going to show you. Uh, show you the plea bargain in this case. Are you familiar with this document? The yes, sir. We go over this with Mr. Brooks. Yes, sir. Did you understand it? Yes, sir. Uh, there's an electronic because, signature to the left. I'm using my cursor to circle around. There's another one to the right. I'm using my cursor to circle around. Are these your two signatures? Yes, sir. This document details for me your agreement with the state as far as punishment is concerned, and I'll let you know if I'm going to follow this prior to the entry of your plea. Punishment will be assessed with a cap of five years in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice and a $1,500 fine. The state is opposed to your application for community supervision or deferred adjudication. This is going to run concurrent with the case that you are on probation for, cause number 2018-CR-13484, taken in consideration for dismissal or two other unindicted felony causes. One is a harassment of a public servant, like you were charged today. The other one is assault of a police officer. And then your signature to the left waives your appeal. Is that your understanding of the plea bargain, sir? Yes, sir. And Mr. Brooks, is that your understanding of the plea bargain as well? Yes, it is, Judge. Let me get out of share screen. Sir, I'm not bound by a plea bargain. I do not have to follow this. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. But if I do follow the plea bargain, then you lose your right to appeal. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. And that's true unless I grant you permission to appeal or unless certain motions were filed and ruled upon. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Counsel, any such rulings in this case? No such rulings, Judge. If I do not follow the plea bargain, I will allow you to withdraw the plea and we'll proceed to trials if this hearing never occurred. Do you understand that? Yes. I'll note again one of your signatures on the plea bargain waives your appeal. Are you a citizen of the United States? Yes, Your Honor. If not, then a plea of guilty or no contest to the offense that have serious adverse effects on your immigration status. And I'll note that you certified on the court's admonishments that you are an American citizen. Counsel, do you believe that your client has a factual, rational understanding of the charge pending against him? Yes, I do, Judge. Do you believe he's been able to assist you in the defense? That's my belief, Judge. Do you believe he's mentally competent to waive rights and enter a plea here today? Yes, I do, Judge. Sir, to the offense that's listed on your information, how do you plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. Do you understand? You can still be found guilty under a no contest plea. Yes, Your Honor. Other than the plea bargain, did anyone promise you anything in exchange for your plea today? No, no Your Honor. Did anyone force you or coerce you to plead today? No, Your Honor. After going over this case with your attorney, do you believe that pleading here today is in your best interest? Yes, Your Honor. Does the state have anything to offer to support the plea? The state offers state's exhibit one and all attachments. No objections, Judge. It's admitted. I reviewed state's exhibit one and attachments prior to getting on the record and find that it is sufficient to support the plea. Sir, I find that your plea was freely, intelligently, and voluntarily made, that there was sufficient evidence to support the plea, and that you're mainly competent to enter into such a plea. I'm going to order a pre-sentence investigation report. I'm going to order a TAP evaluation. 
I'm also going to order an evaluation for our dual diagnosis rehabilitation facility as well as our mentally impaired caseload program. Is there anything else from either side in regards to the plea? Nothing from the state. Not from defense at this time, Dish. All right, Mr. Salazar, we're almost concluded with this hearing. And when we do, though, you need to stay on Zoom because you're going to meet with our probation officer to go over the requirements for the pre-sentence investigation report. There being nothing else from either side, then this matter is now concluded. We are in recess.